our crack research department has informed us that you are probably the only two Bahamian and Estonian athletes to ever be married. <laughs> so I want to hear you sound Estonian, and I want to hear you sound Bahamian. <clears throat> well, I think that's going to be simple for him. <laughs> you think? <laughs> because of me, the most, most of my hair is, well, okay, I need a few words. And so it's Terra, uh, Hadud. <laughs> You've been married for how long? <laughs> About to be two years. And you, you, and you know two Estonian words in two I, years. I promise I knew a whole lot she, more. All the letters from one to ten, you know them, right? Uh, Uks, Kaks, Kam, Nelly, Ulis. Kus. Kus. We, we got to stop right there. Um, and four numbers. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, What's yeah. the, I, want, I want to hear your best Bahamian accent. Bye, look here. <laughs> that is accurate because everything in Bahamas is about bite. <laughs> it's fair too with him because every time he comes home, people always say he sounds like he's from the Caribbean too, so I guess. I mean, when he first came to Georgia too, he was around myself and two other Jamaicans, and so pretty much we were teaching him our words, so. <laughs> yeah, this asked me if I'm from Long Island quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I look at the Bahamas as such a unique island because you guys have, it seemed, well, certainly in recent memory, you've had such great female athletic role models. Mm -hmm. How much of that has become important to you? Um, not only are you a, a representative for the Bahamas, but as a, as a young female, is that something that you've really embraced? Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, especially in this time and age, you, you want to embrace that female recognition. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure watching uh, our past athletes come up and, and accomplish what they've accomplished. And so I definitely want to follow in those, in those footsteps and uh, also represent my country well as a female. And, um, you know, I also try to encourage the younger females coming up as well to go there and just set their dreams high and, you know, just go there and, and achieve it. Tell me about what you guys do to keep the track stuff and the marriage stuff separate, or do you? Um, I, don't, I don't think we really keep them separated too much. Um, at least when we go to the track, everything is strictly about track, and you know, he's always down on me, <laughs> making sure I do things right, and I'm always the same with him. Um, and you know, whenever we go home too, like sometimes we're still talking about track, obviously, but um, we try to separate as much as we could, where um, we just try to focus on ourselves and our marriage, and you know, just trying to yeah, just focus on that, and then we go back to track afterwards. I mean, it's just uh, constantly supporting each other. We we just uh, follow each other's meets all the time. You know, her diamond leagues are, are quite often, and so uh, as far as stopping me doing it, it'll be just daily things. I drop everything what I do, and where whatever time zone she is in, uh, I kind of plan my day accordingly. So I make sure I catch my race, and uh, and you know get to support her uh, from distance if, if I'm there in person. Yeah, it's weird too because uh, even when we went to Eugene Diamond League, uh, he was like gutsies at the uh, time. I and I remember I woke up I think like 4 a.m. in the morning to watch him compete and then I was like, okay, now I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make sure I get enough sleep. So I was in between uh, sleep watching his, his events as well. And so, yeah, we always try to, to watch each other's uh, competitions and try to keep up. And so. I think my 2018 season went extremely well. Um, I just give God a lot of thanks and praise for how it turned out. Um, but yeah, we put in a lot of hard work uh, in this 2018 season. Um, I'm not gonna lie, at first, I was all about, oh, you know, it's an off year, we're gonna have some fun with it, take our time, you know, uh, coach is gonna be easy on us. And coach had this entire different plan. <laughs> and so the minute we came back to practice, I think the first time we went on the track, we had this ridiculous workout and I was like, um, is it not? off season like no it's okay but yeah we put in a whole lot of hard work and um we especially with the 400 we tried a whole new race model and i really love it and uh, so we're still trying to figure it out and we're still trying to put it together it was just something that we were testing and so to come out and, and put down a 48 that was something that was really important to me and uh you know i'm just excited with it and i'm hoping to see uh, where we can go from that uh, but the 200s is what we really want to focus on uh, this year. We just wanted to get a little our feet wet with the 200s. Uh, we weren't doing training for the 200s, but to put down the times I put down, I was really impressed with it. And uh, you know, I had a lot of fun competing with the girls, obviously. And so it was it was a very fun season for me. Michael, run me through your your 2018. Lots of ups and downs. Ended with an injury. Does it make it easier or more difficult when your wife's having the season of her life? and you're, you're kind of going through peaks and valleys? 
I think it, it makes it uh, a lot easier, of course, you know, because uh, with, with, with my wife by my side, her, her doing extremely well, it's, it's almost like a shared joy, you know, I, I, I'm generally happy for her, uh, uh, she had an awesome season, so uh, even if I have a, maybe they're not that good of a meet, uh, doesn't really matter, because I know, I know, I, I guess some, some uh, reason to be uh, uh, cheerful of uh, pretty soon, because I know she's going to do well. At the beginning of 2018, we heard some whispers that maybe you were going to do a heptathlon or two. I'm sure that has nothing to do with your husband, <laughs> but uh, was that was that a real thing? Is that something you really considered? Yeah, we, we were actually really considering it. We were actually doing workouts uh, in training, and it has everything to do with Michael, I would say. Uh, you know, just, just being able to watch him compete, you know, it, it brought back a lot of memories that I used to do all those events when I was younger, too, and so I, I wanted to try it at least once before, uh, you know, I'm, I'm done with the sport. And so coach was open with the idea and we were actually training for it. Uh, we were actually going to do it indoors and we had a meet set up to try and qualify, but then that meet ended up turning into outdoor meet. And yeah, so uh, we yeah. lost the opportunity to do that. But yeah, hopefully someday. We're, we're not, we're not going to close the door on that one yet. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that your best event would be the 200. What would your worst event be? Uh, my worst event would probably be outdoors, the Jav. Yeah. I would probably really, really suck at that. But um, with a little bit of practice, anything can happen, right? Make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic athletes tend to be just a little competitive. Do you find yourselves competing as a couple? All the time. Always, yeah. <laughs> All the yeah, time. That's, uh, we actually, no um, we, we play a lot. And so uh, a lot of the times, I like to win, he likes to win, but I'm the female, and so I'm like, I don't care if you want to win, let me win if that's the case. Don't, don't show that you let me win, but let me win. And so, like, uh, we, we play like simple games like cards, dominoes, things like that, and if he gets like too good, it's like, okay, let me win a game so that I could feel, you know, like I'm here. But we're, we're very competitive again. Okay. And as a husband, you're smart enough to, uh, to, to fall in line with that plan. Yeah, so, <laughs> wife is the boss, so, uh, yeah. Gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. You keep that attitude, this marriage will last a very, very long time. <laughs> <laughs>